Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. You can find us online at journalisttoolbox.ai. That's journalists, plural, toolbox.ai. Uh, here we have a lot of uh, resources, uh, AI tools and others that are helpful for journalists. Today, we're going to concentrate on some writing and editing tools. Uh, and uh, as you open up our editing page, you know, we always have a what's new section up here. Uh, and then a whole list of different tools with descriptions, uh, some training videos of which you're watching one right now, uh, and other resources that are useful uh, for reporters and editors. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of tools that have been out for a little while. Uh, one of them I really like is this tool called Lex, lex.page. Uh, it's a free tool, but has some paid upgrades. Um, uh, very intuitive uh, to use. Uh, all you do is open it up, uh, and it's a tool that evaluates your writing. Um, Lex and, and Hemingway app are two that really do a nice job with this. Um, so I'm going to load some text in here uh, from a story that a student wrote a couple of years ago. This is uh, a little piece I've got here just in a Google Doc, uh, and I'll just cut and paste it in. You can upload files to um, straight off your desktop um, and then um, you can title it um, CTA Writership. Still recovering after pandemic. CTA is the Chicago uh, uh, Transit Authority. Um, and then I'll drop uh, this in, uh, this uh, story in, uh, and hit return. And um, it starts to give, you know, it's running some Grammarly actually on it right now because I've got a little plug in. Um, and I can go over here and select commands. Um, uh, it does allow you to upgrade uh, as you're editing. Um, Lex pricing goes up to $144 annually, 12 bucks a month, not bad. Um, you go on a monthly basis at $18 a month. Um, all it does is it gives you some premium uh, models, unlimited usage and things like that. Um, if it has any new features, it'll, it'll give it to you kind of in beta form, uh, which is great, but really the free model I think works just fine. Um, so it's got uh, some tools up here. Ask Lex about your document. Uh, you can continue writing, generate text uh, uh, from a prompt. Um, uh, you know, uh, go in and you know insert a link, insert image. So you know it's got a, a Microsoft Word stuff. But up here uh, is where you really want to ask Lex uh, about your document. Um, and over here in these tools on the left. Uh, get feedback on your draft, brainstorm intro ideas, feedback on your article idea, um, feedback on my draft. Um, can you give me honest feedback on this draft? You know, what's the main idea of this piece? And it goes through and it, do, it takes a second. So you know, always be patient with it. Um, it goes through and it does some editing and, and rewriting suggestions here. Um, and, you know, it catches quite a few things and you can copy it and, move, you know, move it over in here. Dropped in some subheads, a few other things. Um, you know, the opening section does a good job of setting up the scene. Yeah. Uh, so it offers you some feedback. It does a little bit of rewriting, um, but, uh, you know, basically offers you, you some feedback on, hey, you know, you can improve this, you can improve that. Uh, you can also create a prompt too. you know, uh, you know, do any of the sections have, uh, uh, you know, any problems uh, with uh, um, a certain uh, uh, part of the paper, you know, does it have too much data in any sentences, things like that. Um, so it'll go back and give you some feedback on that. Um, identify any weak arguments in here. This is really good if it's a term paper or something like that. Um, so it's thinking about it right now. It's going through and, you know, again, it's flagging a few things where it thought maybe, you know, uh, uh, that, that it was being redundant and, th and things like that. And I can, you know, keep copying those and moving them over. Um, keep in mind, too, these tools uh, in the rewriting uh, work, uh, I often rekey them, uh, otherwise they'll set off AI detection tools. Um, so really good little uh, tool. It's very versatile. Uh, a lot of these prompts over here are very useful on the uh, right-hand side. And, and you can get into some others here, um, uh, you know, just ask, uh, asking Lex or running uh, other uh, checks, AI checks, see maybe if someone, uh, uh, you know, has written something in AI and given it to you as their own work. Um, uh, you can run a little AI check on it. You can insert images into it. You know, it's got just a lot of formatting stuff as well uh, that you would get out of Word. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's a good alternative to Google Docs. The free version is, um, you know, I haven't done the paid version yet. 
uh, just because I, I like the editing that it does here and the suggestions that it's offered me uh, on my work or, you know, on students' work as well. A lot of times when I'm editing a student story, like their final projects, I'll drop it in here and see what kind of suggestions it has for me. What did I miss as an editor? You know, maybe there's something that, that I missed along the way that it caught. So it kind of evaluates my work as I go. Uh, so I'm a little more complete uh, in my editing and evaluation of the work. Um, another good tool for this is Hemingway app. Um, uh, Hemingway, uh, I'm using the free version. Again, the plus version has so many options where it'll do more rewriting and fixing grammar. Uh, what this does is it evaluates the writing and then just kind of uses this little panel on the right-hand side to give you feedback. It'll give you an overall grade of where it should be, you know, uh, readability. Uh, and then it'll flag the sentences using these different colors uh, saying, oh, hey, this is very hard to read. You might want to rewrite it. This is kind of hard to read. Um, uh, you know, grammar and spelling issues, weakeners, usually ad it used to be slugged adjectives and adverbs in here, but it'll flag those. Um, words with simpler alternatives, you know, maybe a little thesaurus work in there. But it doesn't actually make the changes for you. Um, it actually just offers the suggestions, you know, flags them, you know. And some of these adjectives and adverbs you can't get around. You know, there's some passive voice down here. Um, it flagged in, in uh, Brown here uh, a sentence with way too much data in it. I think he has eight data points in one sentence. Um, so it flags some things out. You know, it gave it an overall readability grade of 14, which is, is pretty high for a 321-word story. Uh, it says the grade is poor, aim for nine. So we want to you know, keep working on some areas here. Uh, but it doesn't actually make the changes for me. Uh, if I do the plus versions, it'll do some rewriting and some grammar fixes. Uh, but I think the free version, just flagging the stuff you might miss in the editing process. Again, I drop it in here after I've done uh, the editing. So two really good tools, Hemingway app uh, and the free version of Lax. Uh, for improving your writing and improving your editing uh, if you're working with a lot of reporters and editors. Um, I will have the links to both tools in the uh, description section of this uh, 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 of this video. Uh, so please do take advantage of it. And also, I forgot to mention earlier, you can hover over things too uh, in, the, in the document. It'll offer some editing suggestions as you go, which is really nice. Um, so you can see, uh, you know, it'll just catch some some of the issues as you go. Um, so hope this was helpful. Keep in mind Journalist Toolbox. We have both writing and AI editing tools up on the site. Uh, so take advantage of those. We'll see you on the next training video. Thanks.